Oh my gosh! <laughs> It's Tuesday, and that means it is time for another episode of What's in the Box. Here we go. Cheers to you guys. Let's dive in. All right, so right here in front of me, I got a glass of whiskey. <laughs> Shocker, I know. It's a whiskey channel, and I got a glass of whiskey, a Glen Karen of whiskey. And this one looks really light. It's pretty light. It might be me, but overall, this looks like a really light or like a dark yellow color. Dark yellow. Not even dark yellow, because sometimes dark yellow looks like orange. It looks light. Who cares? The color, it doesn't really matter. Now let's smell it. Sometimes I just use it as a scare tactic for myself. Like, roar! Scare tactic. That was weird. That was really weird. Okay, let's smell this. On the nose, it smells really good. Sweet. Oaky. It smells oaky. Kind of gives me a little bit of char. Caramel. Vanilla, sweet cream, sweet cream, like in a coffee, like in a, like sweet cream that you get at Starbucks. Ooh, nitro, nitro coffee. Now I'm thinking, it doesn't smell like coffee, but sweet cream, vanilla, oak. Good, it smells good, doesn't burn the nose hairs. It just smells good and sweet, delicious, charred marshmallows even. I like it, I like it, now let's taste it. Yep, I like that. It's sweet. It's not like a high proof or anything. It's definitely, let me take another step here. Whoa, that's crazy. It's crazy because it has like this oaky taste to it. Like oaky, vanilla, a little toffee, molasses. And then there's a fruit note, like a, a like a, a grape note. That's good. I really, really like it. Definitely like it. Definitely would buy it. Definitely would drink it again. Let me take another sip of this. That fruit note in there is really, I like that. Let me take another sip. Mmm. It's really good. It has to be 100 or under, or else I'm losing my mind. First, I want, whoa. Cherry Twizzler. Strawberry Twizzler. Twizzlers? What are they? Strawberry or cherry? Twizzler. I got a Twizzler note in there. Kind of gives me these like Buffalo Trace vibes. I don't know, I like it. I Like I said, I like it, I would buy it, I would drink it again. This is really delicious, would recommend it. That's what I gotta say. The proof could be higher. It could be like a 110 and it could be like a Russell's Reserve single barrel or some something like that. But I, I could be losing my mind. I don't really think it's that. It has more oak to it. Something, something like it could be finished. Anyhow, all right, let's figure out what this is and see how crazy I am or wrong or right. Maybe, I don't know. All right, let's do this. Oh, also, before we reveal it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Gotta have these subscribers. Well, really, it just helps YouTube show the videos to more people. So please subscribe, leave a comment, and hit that like button. Now let's reveal this bottle. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy moly, you guys! Well, it was definitely under 100 proof. I was right about that. This is a Buffalo Trace product. product. Elmer T. Lee! You guys, it tasted oakier than I remember from El Elmer T. Lee. That is hilarious. I was like, could be... Wow, it was giving me Buffalo Trace vibes. That's literally what I said at first. Then I was like, there's a Russell Reserve. But the cherry note in there, like the strawberry and cherry Twizzler thing that I was saying. I don't know, but that should have clued me in right away. It's really good, and I really like this bottle. Good thing I'd recommend it, but, well, good luck finding it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's what I got for this episode of What's in the Box. Let me know your thoughts on Elmer T. Lee. Do you like it? Do you think it's overrated? Do you think it's underrated? I think it's probably pretty underrated. Pretty good, especially at 90 proof. Really delicious. So have a great day. I'm Dara. I'm your average drinker, and I'll see you next time.